Well, my name is Frederick Mujera. I come from Uganda. I head a network, I head a network of 700 journalists in Africa who report, and, who report on water and sanitation. I'm a journalist. I'm here as uh, part of the uh, workshop. I'm attending the workshop and uh, I'm part of the Open Water Diplomacy Lab. We want to bring together journalists and uh, uh, researchers in Africa, especially along the Nile, under this project. Okay, um, my name is uh, Amel Azab. Um, I'm an Egyptian uh, civil engineer, and um, I work currently as the manager of the Nile Basin Capacity Building Network, and this is uh, a network under the umbrella of UNESCO IG, serving all the Nile Basin countries. Yeah, well, my name is Pedro Cardozo. I'm from Mozambique. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm working in water supply. And have, well, we have a company in Mozambique uh, which, uh, which, uh, which provides water supply for small towns. And uh, the, my interest in this is that uh, we're linking to the small project, which is a water supply sanitation project through, through the DUPC funding that we are applying for. My name is Cesar Garay. I'm the executive director of CIRMAC, that is the research center for the Magdalena River in Colombia. And we are involved uh, in evidence for policy project. And that project pretends to involve scientific uh, research and scientific knowledge, as well as local knowledge, into uh, the um, uh, policy, may, uh, policy uh, um, definitions. Yeah. So we want to, um, to help policymakers to include that uh, knowledge in, in the policies in Colombia. I am Nader Khatib, and I am the Palestinian co-director of the regional eco-peace organization based in Bethlehem. And the DUPC project is about using uh, decentralized wastewater treatment in uh, a valley east of Bethlehem and to promote treatment and reuse. And also it's part of the conflict mitigation process of transboundary uh, water issues. Well, not so many stories about water and, uh, are, in, in the, are in the press. Most of these stories are, are buried down in the newspaper. But this project is so important, it will teach journalists on how to write these stories to make sure they appear on the first page. It will train uh, researchers to make sure they simplify the, the report and then the journalists get stories from these reports. It will bring together journalists and, report and uh, researchers. Actually, uh, the DUPC2 uh, program was, was very crucial for us as a network to, to be linked to its projects. And currently we are linked to two projects, not one. I would like to talk about one of them very specifically because it's, it's very important to our network members, which is the project of the Open uh, Water Diplomacy uh, Lab. And this project deals with uh, linking the, um, the water uh, research uh, scientists to the um, journalists and media um, um, arena. And this is actually uh, something that does not happen quite often because researchers usually focus on the research activities and the research products and the publications of papers. But they stop at this stage and they don't go further to publish their work to broader audience. And this is the reason they want to have better communication skills. And this project is helping this very well. How to link the water professionals to the media professionals so they can work together and interact for better communication of the research results to the diplom diplomacy uh, people and the decision makers so we can take the research results and solutions for water problems to a wider um, uh, group of people who can really implement these solutions on the ground. So uh, this is the reason this project is very important for, for the Nile Basin water professionals, I would say. Well, basically, um, as, as you may know, more than half the population in Mozambique is living in small towns. And water and sanitation in small towns is a, a bit struggle issue now. And, and, and with this growing population through, through these areas, and it seems to, to make all the sense to, to give more efforts in, in developing these processes. Now, uh, what we see in Mozambique is that the models, the management model for water and sanitation in small towns do not fit properly the reality, the dynamics of the small towns. So as an actor in the field, we see that there's a very big potential in improving this process. So I think it's really important that. It's quite important because uh, we have been losing a lot of water resources 
because the way we are managing it, manage, managing them. So uh, if we do pertinent policies, we are sure that the things will be better. And also for the user, they will have access to their resources and uh, probably uh, it will be, um, uh, it will help to, to do it in a sustainable uh, way. It's very important for uh, several reasons. Uh, it is a threat uh, of pollution for our only resource, which is the groundwater. It is a potential source uh, for uh, Palestinian uh, reuse strategies. It is also a health issue because poor sanitation means poor health and it is an epidemic potential. So hopefully this project will uh, come with some solutions to turn the waste into a potential asset for the Palestinians. Well, where would I go without partnering with the UNESCO IHE? I mean, we know because of the expertise in water and sanitation, this is where the researchers in water are. And uh, we feel proud to you know, work with you. Uh, this is actually a historical partnership, I would say, because um, Nile Basin Capacity Building Network was an extension uh, collaboration between UNESCO IHE and uh, the Hydraulics Research Institute of Egypt. And uh, this uh, collaboration started by a training center in Egypt and then uh, taking the step forward to have a regional network for water professionals in the Nile Basin. So the partnership um, helps a lot the water professionals in the Nile Basin to get linked and to get connected to whatever activity is happening at UNESCO IHE and with other partners. So I believe this is a strategic uh, partnership that continues and should continue. Well, uh, it, 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 has, it has all to, to see with the with uh, a lot of expertise, a lot of um, a, a wide uh, view, mm -hmm. and the context that we had, we received an invitation from someone that is, is working here in, in UNESCO IG, and I was presented the idea, so I thought uh, having very strong uh, support from, from, from the knowledge on, on itself, uh, it, it would help a lot and do it very quick to find a very, very, very good results. We have been working with UNESCO uh, people from the last two years and uh, the main reason is because we always find somebody to talk with. Uh, we have response from UNESCO ESI, so it's easy to access and we find a co uh, very nice counterparts. I have uh, quite a long history with IHE and cooperation with Palestinians and I think IHE is uh, one is a world leader in water and sanitation uh, sectors and many Palestinians graduate from here and there are lots of ongoing activities with IHE and I am delighted to be part of that. Well, you see, this, uh, it's a new workshop for me as a journalist. I, I got so many skills about research, how you know, to uh, uh, carry out research. These are things that journalists don't usually think about. We think about writing stories, but uh, this time I crossed from being a journalist and then I went to uh, the side of a researcher. I take home skills about you know, uh, writing uh, reports, uh, research reports, carrying out research, you know, um, uh, evaluation, monitoring, so many skills, you know, yes. Uh, a lot of things. The workshop was really um, uh, a very good environment to uh, collaborate and to interact with the uh, DUPC uh, program partners and the, uh, the set of projects that are initiated uh, and they will start to work together. Uh, the collaboration with other projects was the key message for me to take back home. So we're not working in isolated projects, but you work together. We learn from each other and we collaborate um, to have outcomes that um, can be common at certain moment and can help solving a lot of problems in our regions. Thank you very much. Well, uh, it's a lot of things. Uh, I think first of all is uh, this wide view of other, other projects and the other sensitive uh, aspects related to, to, to the projects. That we that are develop, being developed here in the Middle East and other sites. So first, uh, the, the, uh, through the, pro the the workshop, I saw that we could share within our our groups, our working groups, uh, the ideas. We would strengthen our 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 beliefs on the on the, on the results of the projects. 
we also check on what are the risks, the probable risks that can affect the, the success of the project and to make it more, more, you know, more decisive, more clear. And this is uh, in a wide way, what, what I can say in general, what I can say that I'm taking from, from home to, to home, sorry. You're welcome. Well, a lot of things. Uh, I was expecting something different. I was expecting something more um, like a class. Uh, what I get was a lot of tools to take into account for the next uh, projects we are going to formulate. We got tools also to check internally our project and to re rethink about it. So it's, it's, it's very nice what I got. The workshop was, I think, an opportunity to meet others, to exchange experience and to see how we can support each other and where uh, something I can take from other parts to Palestine.